my bitches. If you are new here, hello. My name is Brittany, and today I'm going to be doing a lip collection and declutter of all of my lip products. We've got lip liners, lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, lip glosses. The whole fucking shebang is what we're doing today because I have to get this stuff organized. And it just, it's, it's happening, all right? So first things first, we're not judging the way that my fingers look, all right? Let's get that right out of the way. I know they are blue. They're ratchet. It's fine. I did not come here to be fucking judged, okay? So I'm getting ready to <laughs> basically redo my entire collection as far as organization goes. And I need to declutter these fucking lip products. And I'm just doing them all at once because it makes more sense in my brain. So if you guys like declutter and makeup collection videos, I'm going to need you guys to all hit the damn thumbs ups for one. Like the video because my hands look so fucking fancy, right? <laughs> and I'm just going to dive right in. I probably won't pay too much attention to the live chat today because I really want to get through all of this and we have a lot to go through. So I'm going to start with lip liners and then we're just going to see how this all goes because yeah, it's, it's a lot, everybody. If you saw my thumbnail, I mean, it's a general idea, but I have like a whole spinny organization, <laughs> like organization. Wow, organizer. Organizer? What am I trying to say? Anyways, let's get into it. I try to separate products by brand. It's just something that makes more sense in my brain, but lip liners obviously get all kind of thrown into one. I'm going to try to pull like all the same brand at once. So the first thing I have are these new e.l.f. lip liners. I'm actually going to keep these because for being e.l.f., they're actually very nice. They're creamy. I haven't really used them like all the shades yet. I use this one shade in particular quite a bit. I think it's this one right here. So it almost gives me like BK Beauty lip liner vibes because it's got like that triangular, triangular. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> I'm not going to swatch everything, but I am going to hang on to these. I don't think the packaging is that great of quality, but it's elf. So it kind of is what it is. Let me pull out the ones that I know I'm going to definitely declutter. And that's these Urban Decay, like Gwen Stefani. Do y'all remember these? Like, these are so fucking old. These have no business being in my collection anymore. These are at least like five, six years old, probably older than that. I think Urban Decay still makes most of these. The only one that I use like a decent amount is Ex-Girlfriend. I feel like this was their best one. I need to get rid of them though. We're gonna go in the uh, declutter box for that. Let me pull out all of my Gerard Cosmetics lip liners as well. Cause as I like go through lip liners, I notice I use like the same shades over and over again. It's always shades like this. That's almost like a mauvey pink. That's just my jam. This one doesn't even have a lid on it. I'm gonna declutter all of these. And I actually think that I have like PR credits through Gerard Cosmetics. So I'll probably just get new ones of the, like the ones that I already know that I like. My personal favorite is Cher. And also, I don't even think this says the name anymore. So I can't even tell you what the shade name is. But these ones, I mean, they're still in great condition. It's just, I feel like I, I've had these for a while. So I feel like I, I need to, um, just kind of start over. So I think I'm going to start over with my Gerard Cosmetics ones. A few that I know that I'm not going to declutter are the BK Beauty lip liners. I think there's, actually, I thought there was five, but maybe there's only four of these. These lip liners are fucking fire. If you guys were not like interested in the BK Beauty lips, like lipsticks or lip liners, you're sleeping on them because let me tell you, especially their lip like the lipsticks are fantastic. Kimberly said that those ex-girlfriend like Urban Decay ones were from 2014. Yeah, it was time to declutter them. <laughs> so the BK Beauty ones I'm definitely hanging on to. My personal favorite is Sweet Pea. I'll give you guys swatches like if I have a collection where you know I use one a lot or whatever the case may be. But do not sleep on these BK Beauty lip products because they are fucking fantastic. The packaging is great. It kind of reminds me of, remember this one, Maybelline lip liners? Let me put that so I don't accidentally put those in my declutter pile. But this was from the Gigi Hadid collection. Y'all remember this one too? <laughs> oh my god. This shade is so pretty, but this is hella old. I need to declutter this. But if you're unfamiliar with the BK Beauty, it's very similar packaging to what you're getting with Maybelline. So this one I am going to declutter because it's old AF. 
I don't think, I just saw the live chat asked if I have any Juvia's Place lip liners. I don't think I've ever, tr no, I used to have their lip liners. I think I used it up and I never repurchased it, but those are great lip liners as well. Next one I'm going to keep is from Victoria Beckham. This is the only one that I have from her collection. This is the Lip Definer. I think it's in the shade like Nude or something. Zero two. So I don't even think it gives me a shade. It's a very like brownie tone, but this one, it's not as creamy. It's a little bit stiffer, but I actually like that about it because it makes me feel like it lasts a little bit longer. So this one I am going to hang on to because that's still relatively new and it was a gift from a subscriber. The next one, this one ain't going nowhere. The Makeup Forever Aqua Lip. These are so fucking bomb. Like this is my favorite lip liner in my collection, I think. I've gone through the most of these. I had my original one for so long, and you guys see me wear this shade all the time, but the formula on this, it actually feels like it's waterproof. Like, it glides on creamy, but it lasts a really long time. The Makeup Forever Aqua Lips are fucking fire, so don't sleep on those. Then a newer one for me is the Perfectionist Lip Pencil from Melt Cosmetics. I picked up this shade because it was a little bit more unique for my collection. It was more of like... A traditional brown tone nude you know what I'm saying so this was the shade sepia and it almost has like an olivey undertone to it so I have really nothing like this in my collection so I'm gonna hang on to that one and then we have Wayne Goss I thought I had more than just one of his but I really like his line I could have swore I had more than one but maybe I didn't so I have the shade I can't even see this is like the only downfall natural berry this one I do really like as well. Are you guys noticing, like, I love pink lips. <laughs> so this one I'm going to hang on to as well. Let me, like, look through these. I know I have a few Scott Barnes, which I'm hanging on to my Scott Barnes ones because I just think the undertones in his are, so, like, the shades that I have, they're so different for my collection. Like, I've got, a, like, almost like a chocolatey brown. I think this is the shade Naomi. And then I also got the shade Linda, which these were my first two that I've ever purchased. He makes fantastic lip liners as well. I personally prefer a lip liner that has a little bit more tug. Scott Barnes are fantastic. They kind of remind me of the Wayne Goss quite a bit, actually. So then we have some NYX. I think these are the same exact shade. Why I opened both, I'm not really sure. But the shade, oh my god, I could picture Peekaboo Neutral. Like, I could picture the name, but I found it. So I'm actually going to declutter these not because they're bad, but because they're old as fuck. <laughs> These are super old. I remember I heard Manny Amiwe raving about this shade in particular. And I've gone through a few of these. I've repurchased it. I had two open and I still didn't use them up. <laughs> but just because they're old, I'm going to get rid of those. Like lip liners, I don't really have that hard of a time getting rid of them because I'm like... Okay, do I use them all the time? Yeah, but I feel like I always use very similar shades. So then the other shade that I have is Pale Pink, which I do prefer that Peekaboo Neutral, but this when you're wearing like a light pink lip product is so pretty. So this one, I do like the shade of this one. I'm just going to declutter them because one, I don't use them that much. Two, I have other shades that kind of resemble what I already have. And three, they're old. <laughs> So then let me do Vive. I love Vive lip products. I love Vive in general. I'm like looking through to make sure I didn't forget any of the other brands. Oh, I have another like red from NYX. I never use this, so we're just gonna declutter that as well. So Vive, I have three different shades. I've got Brat, which is my favorite, Rumor, and Muse. So you got a red, almost like a burgundy tone, and then almost like a light pink. I fucking love Vive. You guys all know this by now. I feel like everybody that's watching me is probably familiar with my channel anyways. So these ones, I am going to keep all of them. Some of my faves. And then Hermes. This one pisses me off every single time that I see it. Because I'm like, Hermes did me dirty. I bought this in store. And the lady gave me the wrong product. So technically, I paid for a lip brush which is more expensive, I'm pretty sure, than the lip liner. It's just a clear lip liner that it's supposed to help with feathering, but I really don't use it, but I can't bring myself to declutter it because one, it's not that old. It's probably expired, but we're going to pretend that it's not. <laughs> but it like, I don't know. I'm just like, fuck, I wish that I got the lip like liner pencil, not the lip, or not the pencil. I wish I got the lip brush instead. 
But since it's Hermes, did y'all see that they're coming out with new products too? I'm so excited about that. But I'm like, I'm still salty about it. But at the end of the day, it's fine. <laughs> but is it really though? And then we have Lisa Eldridge. This is the Enhance and Define Lip Pencil in the shade Myth. I actually picked up this shade. One, because it was super different from my collection. So I'm definitely hanging on to this one. But I got this shade in particular because I was gifted a lip gloss with the same color. So I wanted this color to basically go underneath, you know. But I will say, I think Lisa Eldridge lip products are a little overhyped, in my opinion. <laughs> So I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to get rid of the MAC Strip Down Lip Pencil. This is just far past its prime. It's not as pigmented as I'd like it to be. <laughs> Brown Girl Brella said, I promise you <laughs> I need to be brutal in my lip declutter. I have so far too many things. That's exactly how I feel. I'm like overwhelmed. So I'm like, yo, I need to fucking chill. Did y'all just see that? That was the lid from the Gerard Cosmetics one. <laughs> And then next one I have is M Cosmetics. This is the Bunny Soft Blur Velvet Lip Liner. These lip liners are fine. They're not like blowing me away by any means. They're very creamy, but they don't feel like they have a lot of lasting power. I haven't used this one that much though, so I don't want to speak too much on it. But since it's relatively new, I'm going to hang on to it. And then the Patrick Ta Lip Liners. I really like this shade and these go perfectly with his lipsticks. It looks a lot more orange in real life, like a lot more vibrant. So this one, it's mainly very different from my collection, but this packaging is 10 out of fucking 10. I love it. So I'm going to hang on to that one. Then we have a Gucci lip pencil, which these ones, I mean, they're Gucci. So you're mainly paying for the name. I like though that it's different. Like it's very orangey tone. I got this one purposely. So it was different for my collection. So I'm going to hang on to this one as well. And then Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Cheat. I do like this one. It's not one of my favorite lip liner formulas, but it's not bad. It's just there's something about it. I'm like, okay, it's fine. Do I love it? Not really, but I like the shade of this one. I'm still going to hang on to it, though, because I think I got that during, like, holiday time. And then Natasha Denona, the I Need a Nude lip liner in the shade. I think this is Il Ilona or Ilona or something like that. I really like this formula. So this shade, it's, I'm going to say it's probably the closest that I have to that Maybelline I decluttered. I am going to hang on to this one though, because I really do like that formula. And then two I'm going to declutter are the Kylie lip pencils. Can y'all believe that I still fucking have this in my collection? <laughs> This is the shade True Bound K. This is from when these first came out, which was feels like an eternity ago. And then I'm also going to get rid of the MAC In Control Pro Longwear Lip Pencil. I really did like this one, except it's just past its prime. So bitch needs to go. So that is all of the lip liners that I have. Let me show you. I'm still gonna keep quite a few because I like to have a variety of different colors for lip liners because it really does make a difference for the products that you put on top of it. Where I think I'm gonna be a little bit more critical is for basically everything else. This is gonna be such a pain in the ass to get off. So now, as I get into the rest of my lip products, I do like to basically group everything together by brand. So I'm gonna try to get through this relatively quickly my freaking desk is disgusting don't pay attention to that all right let me go to this like spinny organizer that i have over here I, I got this from sunny cosmetics like forever ago if i could find it i'll link it for you guys so the first things i have are these juicy shakers from lancome i got these when they were on sale for like half off i'm gonna declutter them i never use them they're nice but they don't last. They don't give me enough pigment. There's something if you want like conditioning on your lip. It's really cute like how they look like little shakers. Like shake, 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 shake. But I don't ever use them. So we're just going to declutter them. And they're old as fuck. Next one we have is Gucci. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. This is the shade Agatha Orange. I'm definitely not getting rid of this because it's fucking fabulous for one. The packaging is gorgeous. And it's not that old. So we're going to hang on to that one. Then we have the Mel... What is this? I almost said milk. Melt Cosmetics Beetlejuice Lipstick. <laughs> this shade is fucking everything, but let me tell you about these damn lipsticks. The Melt Cosmetics Lipstick, like matte lipstick formula, 
It's one of those, like, you have to really layer it. And this is not going to fucking budge. And it is matte. I would love a liquid lipstick in this color. I think I'm going to get... Oh, I, I really don't want to get rid of it because the packaging is super cute. But... You know what? I'm going to hang on to this until I find something that is similar to it. Because I do love pulling out the shade from time to time. I just wore it recently in a video. And it's just... It's so different and beautiful. And it's just bold in all the right ways. So then I have some Tom Ford lipsticks. These are like little trial sizes. I got some of these as gifts. So I got Fascinator is, I think this is like a lighter pink. Oh no, I, I got this one in, um, remember when Nordstrom had that little like eyeshadow palette with like lipstick. There's two little mini lipsticks in it. I do like this formula, so I'm going to hang on to this. And that one's still relatively new. I know I have the shade Casablanca in here, which is one of my go-tos. I'm going to hang on to this one as well. And I like that the fact that they're mini because you get a great formula and it's like a really great way to try it. But I don't think you can buy them like this. I think you have to get them in like a bundle or something stupid like that. And then the shade Rouge, which this one I'm going to declutter because I don't ever wear a straight up red lipstick. It's always a liquid lipstick. Just one thing is a preference thing. So this one I'm going to get rid of going in the declutter pile. And then let's move to, we've got Natasha Denona, which I'm still debating if I want to get some of her new ones <laughs> because I do really enjoy this formula. So we've got the, oh, what was this called? Hold on. Amorosa. This was from the Valentine's Day collection either last year or the year before. Still really like this one. This was from the I Need a Nude collection. I still really like this one as well. Oh my god, I need to pull these out more. This was the same collection. It was basically like the cheek product, I think, and then two lipsticks. I can't even remember. But since I like the formula so much, I picked up this shade because I was like, that's different from my collection. The shade Yana. Am I giving you guys a good visual of what these look like? I'll try to hold them like this so you can actually see what the shade looks like. <laughs> so this formula I do really enjoy. So we're going to keep all of them. And then we have some Patrick Ta, which I don't wear these often, but in the springtime is when these come clutch for me. So I got the shade She's Hard to Get, which is the super hot pink. This is another matte formula that does not budge. And then She's Not From Here, which is the super vibrant orange, except did y'all see how that's falling off? Don't love that for me, but I'm still going to hang on to it because I do really like the shades. And especially, like I said, like springtime, these are just, if you want a punchy matte lip that is super vibrant, yes, bitch. And I love the packaging. Brown Girl Bella, did I get the nude lipstick? I did not. Not yet. I haven't decided if I'm going to get any or not because this video needed to happen first. <laughs> I'm not doing very well, but a lot of these that I'm hitting right now are still relatively new, so I'm not going to beat myself up over it too much. Then we have Vive Lipsticks. This one is the shade Power Sue. I also have two other ones. We've got Muse, which is the red. I only bought that because it's Vive. And I know that I love Vive. And I know that I love the formula. But am I going to wear it every like every damn day? Absolutely not. And then the shade 90s. 90s is the one that I use the most because it's nude. It's more of a brownie tone nude. But I really like this formula. Again, I really love this brand. I'm totally fucking biased, but it's fine. And I love the aesthetic of this packaging. It reminds me a lot of the Tom Ford, except it's got almost like a texture on the side instead of being shiny like the Tom Ford, but kind of similar aesthetic. Really, really love those ones. Then we have more Tom Ford. These are from like this one's brand new. I just got this one. This is the newest collection that they did. And then I also love this shade for the springtime it's just a really beautiful set in hot pink or maybe not hot pink but something very close to it it's super duper pretty so i really like both of these they got the special packaging which i love so i'm going to keep these ones as well and then i think one of my favorite finds of 2021 were the lady bold lipsticks have y'all fucking tried these because watch one of my favorite formulas of all time are the NARS Cosmetics Audacious. And it's like one swipe, holy shit pigment. So comfortable on the lips, super beautiful finish. It's almost like a satin finish. And 
Packaging is 10 out of 10. Really, really love these. So I'm not getting rid of that one. If anything, that's a collection that I would want to own like all of them because I think it's so pretty. And then we have some Juvia's Place lipsticks, which these are fantastic. Like one of my favorite, more affordable lipsticks are these for sure. So I've got the shade 2020. I also have a Mauve Moment, which I bought this one after the fact because I enjoyed these other two so much. And then the other shade I have is me. If I had to pick a favorite of all of them, it's going to be a Mauve Moment just because look at the shade it's so pretty it's not quite one swipe application but if you added just one more swipe you've got full pigment such a beautiful formula i really like the like unique um shape of these as well i, I just really think these are great i don't use these nearly enough and they have a really nice like almost like a it looks like they're matte which they technically are but they're very, very comfortable. But I like how it's got that like suede texture. That's what I was looking for is suede texture. Next one we have is, I believe this is Lancome. The Mademoiselle. I can't even remember. <laughs> I love this in spring. Because this is, it's almost like a lip balm. But look at that. Look at how pretty that is. It's old as shit, but I don't care. I'm not getting rid of it because it looks so pretty on the lips. It's so shiny and juicy. And the shade, you could wear it more sheer or you could really build it up and it looks so nice. So I ain't getting rid of that one either. I don't give a shit. Then we have some Artist Couture. These are, I don't even know the exact name of these. They're just the Artist Couture lipsticks. I never use this shade. The, I think it's called Caliente right? Yes. This was from the Caliente palette, which I'm going to get rid of this one, but it's still a really nice formula. Like that's a really nice red. I just know I'm not going to wear it. I honestly don't even know why the fuck I bought this to be quite honest. I knew I wasn't going to wear it, but the shade boy toy is also fantastic. It's a more matte formula, but very comfortable. It's not as like tuggish as a lot of matte formulas are. I'm gonna keep that one man I forgot how pretty that was I like that one but Caliente unfortunately you are not going to Hollywood then we have I think this is where we get into some like randos so we've got Becca Cosmetics in the shade bear this I'm gonna definitely declutter because Becca Cosmetics is not even a thing anymore this formula is beautiful it's almost like a satin a little bit more not quite sheer really nice look at that yeah, baby. Really nice overall, like, aesthetic, everything about it. But since you can't even get this anymore. And I know it's old. And I got it in BoxyCharm. Just one of those things I don't need in my collection anymore. Then we have Charlotte Tilbury Darling Pillow Talk, which I cannot get rid of this one. So many people love this one. It's a really nice go-to shade. It's just, it's just nice. We're not getting rid of her. Then, I don't think I've ever tried this one. I think this is from ZC in the shade 923. Look at this. I haven't even touched it yet. Can you see, like, the embossing on it? It might be a little washed out, but... Mm, I don't think I'm going to swatch this because I am going to declutter this one because I don't really love the shade. Like, this shade is pretty, but not necessarily a shade that I would like for me. And the packaging's cute. Like, I would love to gift this to somebody, like, in my life. So I'm going to set this one aside so I don't totally get rid of it. I could donate it to somebody, you know? Then we have Pat McGrath. I believe these were all gifted to me. I never reach for them, so I'm actually going to declutter these because they're fairly old as well. This one I used, I think, once. Nude Venus. Let's give this a swatch. This will be one that I swatch it, and I'm like, oh, wait, do I want to get rid of it? Super pretty, but I am going to declutter it because I don't ever use it. This next one, I think, is a darker lipstick. What shade is this? The Lip Fetish Sheer Color Balm in the shade, wow, in the shade Flesh 3529. Let's see what this one has to offer. I can feel this one kind of like moving around, though, so I don't think it's secure on there. I'm going to declutter this one as well. I feel bad, but I'm like... I'm not using them this one i know for a fact i'm not going to use i've swatched it before so this is the exotica 430 luxe trance lipstick 
this would be so pretty. I just, I don't have the balls big enough to wear something like this that is not a liquid lipstick. <laughs> I just want something that's not going to transfer all over the place. And a shade like that for me, I would 100% get it all over my face. So this one, I also don't love this packaging. Like it feels like loose. I feel like that's a formula though I would really like. I would just need to get like shades that really speak my name. You know what I mean? Obviously, I'm super grateful for the people that gifted those to me. But... Unfortunately, I can't hold on to everything, especially if I want to have like a realistic <laughs> collection that I actually fucking use. So let's talk about these Prapa Beauty lipsticks. I fucking love these lipsticks so much. I had the entire collection. I believe that some of it was sent to me and then some of it I purchased, but I could be wrong, but I literally have all of them. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that I've done lip swatches on these before. I feel like I need to replenish this though because I've had all of these since they launched and there's obviously certain ones that I wear more than others. Look at, look at this range. Y'all, if you've never tried, excuse me, if you've never tried these, these are like $12. They're so inexpensive and they're so fucking good. Oh my gosh, especially... Oh my gosh, I'm going to have way too much fun. Hold on. I want to make sure my hands dry so I don't do these injustice. But these are going to be a more sheer formula. But you build them up and they're the most beautiful satin lipsticks. I think, I think I'm going to declutter these to get new ones. But oh my god, some of these shades are so spectacular. Especially if you have deeper skin. They basically designed this line to be ideal for deeper complexions. So the shade Finesse, do you see the tragic state that that's in? <laughs> this was 100% my most used, still my favorite to this day. These swatches are not doing them justice. It's making me very sad, but I do need to, I think, replenish these. If you were to ask me my favorites, it's Finesse, Made It, Limitless, Moxie, I'm going to set these aside and then kind of go through them after the fact, but I know for a fact I'm going to declutter some of them just because one, like, finesse, even though I love it, I'm going to declutter it so I can buy a new one. <laughs> so let me just pull these aside. But damn, they're so good. If you've never tried those lipsticks, absolutely need to. I'm just going to throw these in the box for now because <laughs> I'll be here all day trying to rearrange okay let's move on to the christian audette lipstick in the shade beauty which i'll never get rid of this now simply because this was the collection that mel thompson did in collaboration with uh christian audette this honestly wasn't my favorite formula but it's mel so we're gonna hang on to her because she really was such a staple in the beauty community i feel so we're gonna hang on to that one and then we have more Too Faced lipsticks, which these are fucking bomb. Have y'all ever tried these? Do they? I don't even know if they still make these. I need to check. If these are still available, I will keep them. If they're not, I will declutter them. But these are the, um, basically like the peach lipsticks. So I have Peach Beach. Oh, I love this formula. Super matte, super duper pigmented. And then I also have the shade Sex on the Peach, which I love this. <laughs> I love the shade name, but I also love the shade as well. These are so good, though. Oh, my God. But I feel like these are old. Guys, help me out. <laughs> help me out. Do they still make these? Because I feel like I want to keep them because I remember them being so fucking good. I'm going to keep it for now. I'm going to put my um, comeback queen, my lady bold with that all right moving on to the next era uh, do y'all remember these the touch and soul metalist liquid foil lipstick duos fuck i feel like these were so underrated especially this shade. this shade is so special i'm gonna declutter these but i remember seeing this for the first time in store this is not gonna do it justice because this is old as fuck First time in store I seen it, I was like, oh my god, that is so pretty. So you've got the lipstick, or like the liquid lipstick on one side. 
It's beautiful on its own, but then you put the lip gloss on top. I did a dedicated lip swatch video to these like such a long time ago. It's probably so cringe, but bitch, these were so fucking, oh my God. Look at that. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. I, oh, I, I miss this. I wish these were still available because I don't want to get rid of it, but I know. <laughs> I know they don't sell it anymore, but fuck. Look how pretty. So good. So, so good. Ugh, it makes me mad. Let's go over to Chantikai. I'm not going to get rid of any of these because they're glorious. So you've got the lip veil, the lip cheeks. I honestly feel like you can't go wrong with the lip cheeks or lip veils. They're just a juicy looking formula. Oh my God. Look at this one. This is the shade Cappuccino. I got this with the, I think it was the Flower Power Collection. It kind of reminds me of that Lancome one, except it's got a little bit more pigmentation to it. I think the Lancome is slightly juicier, though. But damn, these products are so fucking fire. I really need to get a more, like, wearable shade, but we're going to keep all those. So you'll see me wearing those in future videos, I'm sure. And then the, what are these called? The Lip Tint Hydrating Balms. I haven't reached for this nearly as much as the lip veils or the lip cheeks but they're just a little bit more sheer but still super pretty like if you don't want something too crazy this would go really well i'm gonna hang on to this one as well too because i believe shantikai sent me that but we're gonna hang on to that one and then we have rare beauty this is from like their liquid lipstick line i'm pretty sure what shade is this i think i wore this like one time inspire is the shade name it's a little bit more, like, this one's very orangey tone, which is why I liked it so much, because normally with reds, I go for blue base reds. This one, it just, it's really pretty. Like, it almost feels like a, um, it almost reminds me of, like, the Kaleidos, because it's got, like, a mou moussey texture to it. Maybe, like, Ofra is very similar as well. I'm going to hang on to this one, I think. See if I reach for it, and if I don't, I'll probably end up getting rid of it, but I remember that being fantastic back to Chantikai real quick this is the lip gloss I forget what the hell I got this for this is the shade love I think it was um I was working with them for something or they were sending me stuff and I was like all right let me try their lip glosses super pretty it's not my favorite lip gloss of all time but it's not enough for me to get rid of it I still really enjoy it <laughs> So I'm going to hang on to that one. Then we've got Hourglass and, oh my God, I feel like if you've watched my Sephora loves list declutters or not loves list, my Sephora recommendations, especially for springtime, I always mention this YSL. What is this? The Tattooge Lip Cream or something like that. Oh, I love this. It's such a pretty like lip tint, but it builds so nicely. And this in the fucking summertime. It's old, but I'm not getting rid of it. I think that is one of my favorite lip products in my collection. And then I have the Hourglass, oh, uh, what are these called? Unreal Lip Glosses, I think these are called, in the shade Cosmic, which I got this because it was so different from my collection. But I really, like, I really don't wear it that much. It kind of reminds me of, like, NARS Orgasm, except maybe a little bit more pink. Oh, I think I'm going to keep this one, though, because I still really do like it. And I really like the packaging on these. Whenever it's more expensive, I have a harder time getting rid of it. Fun fact. But uh, this lip gloss is fucking horrible. Tom Ford. This was from, I think, the Summer Collection last year. I'm getting rid of this. Like, I know it's super expensive. But this shade on me was hot garbage. Like, Mo makes this look so pretty. On me, though, I'm just like, wait, what is this? Like... It looks yellow, but it's supposed to almost, like, change with the color of your lip. On my lips, this looks fucking yellow. It's not it for me. I'm going to get rid of it, even though it was hella expensive. Let me wipe off these right here. And then we have Physician's Formula, which I did another, like, dedicated lip swatch video to these, but I honestly have not reached for these at all since my last declutter. And since I have... Other lip products in my collection that kind of give me like similar vibes. The only shade I want to keep is Fight Free Reticles, which this is, I think, one of my favorite like reds I have ever seen. It is like the perfect blue based red. 
Oh, but I feel like it doesn't. There, it's like funky. Like the applicator's fucked up a little bit. No, I gotta get rid of it. Oh man, if they still make this, this would be a shade that I would still buy again because I really like the shade of it. I really like the applicator. It's got like that tulip head. But these are all they have. Like, go back on my channel if you're feeling froggy and you could see the dedicated lip swatch video to it. But <laughs> it might be cringeworthy. I'm just saying. <laughs> all right. Next one we have is more Chantecaille. This is the Lip Sleek in the shade Flamingo. I think this was another, like, they sent me products or something for a video. I can't even remember. But... I love Chantecaille lip products, so I'm going to keep this one as well. So we're just going to put that with the rest of the family right up at the top, spinning around to the next section. Oh, my God. I see the Marc Jacobs glosses down there, and it makes me so sad. All right, let's start at the top. We've got some Wayne Goss lip glosses. These two are a little bit old, but I think I'm still going to hang on to them. I'll probably smell them, and if they smell fine, I'll keep them. So I have the shade Hibiscus, which is this one here, and then Petunia. So Hibiscus is the shade that's got, like, that frost look to it. I probably should get rid of these, though, because, yep, that one's, like, it's not applying the same. But these, it's funny that we said Marc Jacobs before this, because this formula reminds me so much of that Marc Jacobs. Even, like, the scent of it and everything, the feel of it. It's very, very reminiscent to the, I can't remember what the hell they're, the high shine enamored lip, lip lacquers, I think that they were called. Super shiny. I'm going to hang on to them. Fuck it. <laughs> I want to use these more because I really do like these. I really like this formula. Look how shiny. Shiny, 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 shiny. All right. Now we got Tower 28. I love Tower 28 with my whole entire life. I believe I purchased majority of these, but there may have been some that I did not purchase, but I'm keeping them all because I love the Tower 28 lip gloss formula. I feel like this shade though, oh, does that look right? I feel like I remember this being more pink, but you guys got to let me know because I'm like, wait, I swear when I first got this, it looked different. But I love this formula so much. It's super shiny. It's almost like a gel consistency. I mean, it still smells okay. Maybe it, Maybe I'm just remembering incorrectly. I don't know. I'm going to keep all these. If you guys come through and say, no, oh, it was definitely a different color, I'll probably take it out and get a new one. But we're going to hang on to these because I love them. And if you ask me between, like, the Milky and the original, I actually prefer the Milky. And they actually have two new shades out as well within, like, both lines. I think there's one in the milky range and one in the, like, permanent range. We're keeping them all. Okay. Then we have Dior. Do y'all really think I'm going to declutter Dior? You got your damn mind. I have the shade, was it, 006. This is the Dior Addict Lip Maximizer. This was, like, my first Dior purchase, I'm pretty sure. Or one of my first. Uh-uh. She's staying. And then we have the Jouer Lip Topper in the shade Skinny Dip. Y'all remember this? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm still on the lookout for a blue-based red. That Fight Free Radicals by Physicians Formula, if you could find it, is fucking fire. So this is definitely a sparkly lip topper. But something so petty of me is I hate this packaging. I hate holding on to this little square when I'm applying it. So I am unfortunately going to declutter this. Because I don't like applying it, I don't use it. Beautiful product. If it had different packaging, I would use it probably all the time. But unfortunately, it's not going to work out for me. Then we have the Nabla. I think these are just like the Nabla liquid lipsticks. This is the shade Adam's Dream. This was so pretty. I don't know why I don't use this more often. That's such a shade for me. I'm going to hang on to this one. I am going to declutter the Nabla Shine Theory lip gloss, though. I got this basically just to test, like, a bunch of shit from Nabla. And this was, like, fine. But there was just something about it. I'm like, mm, I don't necessarily love the color of it. It's very different, though. But I never reach for it, so I don't need it. <laughs> 
Then we have the Juvia's Place Lip Gloss in the shade So Glaze. This one I'm going to get rid of as well because I just, I don't use it. And it's hard for me to get out of the packaging. But I remember enjoying this, like, when I first got it. It's got a really pink, like, Barbie pink look to it, which that's not really my vibe anyways. So I'm going to declutter that one. And it's old AF. Artist Couture Lip Gloss. I'm going to declutter this one as well. Then we have, oh my god. Jacqueline Hill. This is one of the last things she convinced my ass to buy. This is the Flirt Gloss from Bare Minerals. Damn, this is good. That's one thing, like, Jacqueline usually does recommend fucking fire products. Super pretty shade, really nice formula, but it's old AF, and I just didn't really use it that much. But this lip gloss, I don't know why I love it so much. Oh. Laura Mercier, Bare Naked. I think in one of, like, my very first, I probably need to get another one of these, though. This is hella old. I do need to declutter this, <laughs> but it was in like one of my first like Sephora samplers. This gloss was in there and I fucking loved it. It looks more yellow though now. It used to look pink. So I'm going to declutter this one, but I could see myself buying that again in the future. And then unfortunately I need to get rid of my Marc Jacobs glosses because they're old AF. These were fire, like some of the best lip glosses in the game. And then another one. Look at how fucking disgusting. Like, <laughs> Bite Beauty. These were the um, French press lip glosses. Remember how popular these were? In the shade Dirty Chai. I'm going to try to mix this up just to see what it still looks like. These were the ones that smelled like coffee. Oh my god, these would totally go viral if they came out again. This shade was so perfect, though. Oh my god, we're like taking a stroll down memory lane with all these oldies but goodies. If that came out again, I would buy it again, because I really do like that shade. And then we have the Glossier Lip Gloss in the shade Red Rouge, which it's a lot more sheer than it appears, but I still, I never reach for this. <laughs> I don't know why, though, either. It, it looks so pretty. It's so shiny. This would be a good, like, purse lip gloss. You know what? I might take this out and put it in my purse. Because then I think I would actually use it. Because it's small. It's not too much. Like, it's not too much red. It almost looks pink. I like that. I'm going to take this out and put it in my purse. All right. We did pretty good on... The lip organizer. I'll put everything back after the fact. But we're just going to move it out of the way for now. And keep on going. Because we're doing pretty good. How long have we been here? 42 minutes. Oh my god. Guys, did you like this video yet? Just wondering. <laughs> I would love to know too. What is like your favorite lipstick? Liquid lipstick? Lip gloss? I want to know it all. We're going to have plenty of time to chit chat, guys. All right, let me get these out of the way because I'm not going to declutter any of these because they're very, very new. So we have the Unearthly Cosmetics, the Satin Liquid Lipsticks. Phenomenal. One of my favorite lip products. It's not transfer proof, but these make my lips look amazing. And then I have all of the Makeup by Mario, the Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serums, which I have a dedicated lip swatch video to that. I believe on my YouTube shorts and on my TikTok. So these can all stay. <laughs> We're not getting rid of them because I love them so much. If you want swatches actually on the Unearthly Cosmetics ones as well, those are also on my TikTok. So, sticking with brands, we have all Lunar Beauty in here. And Lunar Beauty has some of my favorite lip products. So, we've got the lip glosses and liquid lips. Oh my god, so many. I didn't realize how many of these I had, <laughs> But these are like the collections that I always buy them. I just, I really like how Lunar Beauty does their launches. Like how they do like a couple glosses with a palette. Maybe like a liquid lipstick or two. I just really like it. So I'm going to keep all the glosses because I can. That was probably really loud. I apologize. I just, I really enjoy that formula. I like all the shades. And then we have all of the liquid lipsticks, which these are, I'm keeping all these too because I love them. <laughs> I mean, I don't need them all, but since I have them all, yeah, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna hang on to those, okay? Don't judge me. So Lunar Beauty's all done. Then we've got, let's see, what do we wanna do next? Let's do Scott Barnes and Pat McGrath. 
<laughs> so another brand I think is incredibly underrated when it comes to lip products. Definitely Scott Barnes. So I have some of his liquid lipsticks. These white packagings are his lip glosses, which Blondie is one of my favorites. We've got his mini liquid, or not liquid lips, his mini glosses. This one here is actually another gloss. So that's like a permanent line gloss. And then I've got all these minis. I also have the, um, these were like the holiday, I think from one or two years ago. I like these. I don't use them that often, but they come in clutch every so often. And I love the fact that they're minis. I also have like the nude range of these as well. They're just down somewhere that I forgot about. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep all these cause I love Scott Barnes lip products. So those can stay. And then what is also going to stay are my Pat McGrath lip glosses. I just fucking love this formula. Except I am, I think I'm going to declutter the Opulust glosses because these don't give me like what the Lust glosses do. So actually let me take those out because I am going to get rid of those. I don't ever wear them. And like they're super pretty. It's just, it's just a preference thing. Where's the last one? I think it's this one right here. Maybe not. Maybe I decluttered one already. Hold on. I'm looking. Oh, no. This is the Opulust. Okay. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to keep them because why not? <laughs> I'm so stupid. But I have these ones in here as well. It's basically Pale Fire Nectar and then the other nude ones that come in. Like the They do like little trios every so often. I think I've got Flash or something dare to bear what's the other shades that i've got lunar bronze i basically just buy them whenever they're available in minis you know so we're gonna hang on to those let me hold on let me swatch because this is the one that's making me want to keep it this is the shade naked rose because it looks sparkly but it still looks like oh no i'm gonna get rid of these I'm going to get rid of those, the Opulus glosses, because they're more like, um, it, get, it gives me more of like a metallic lip, whereas her other glosses give me that more shine, what I like. So I'm going to do, I'm going to keep all these together. Fuck it. <laughs> oh my God. We still have so much more to go through guys. Hopefully we can get through this quick. Like me, as I'm going through this, I'm like, this was a horrible idea going through all these at the same time. All right, let's go through this, like, thing of random shit because that's what I feel like this is. Dose of Color Desi Collection. I'm getting rid of these. I I know that these are far past their prime. So I've got the two lipsticks. These didn't go with my complexion, like, at all. And then the liquid lipstick as well. I really like the Dose of Colors liquid lipstick formula, which I know I have another one. We're going to declutter that. I held on to that for just way too long. I also have... The gloss from the Desi Katie collection. Do you guys remember that? Oh my god. Feels like it was so long ago now. So I have all these Dose of Colors. I've got Chocolate Wasted, Stone. I think this is Date Night. And then Campfire. I think I'm going to declutter these. I just got a new stone. I just don't know. This isn't it. Because the new they've got new packaging. So I am going to get rid of all of these. And then just kind of pick up the shades that I know that I like. But this is a really nice matte liquid lipstick formula. And then we've got the Sephora Collection lip or like cream lip stains or some shit like that. These are bomb.com. These are hella old. So I'm actually going to declutter all of these. And then I also got these ones from like the Mickey Collection or Mini Collection. This is so hard to declutter right now, but I need to do it. Because <laughs> I never use them. These ones I do, but if I do, if I do wear one, it's always this one. This is the shade number 13. And I know they still make these. They're like 14 bucks and they're amazing. Like, don't let cream stain fool you. It's a liquid lipstick. It's fucking fire. And then they have these like plumping glosses. Effect Volume Outrageous Plump Effect Gloss. I'm going to declutter this one because I bought this shade just to try the formula like an idiot i would get a different shade now but this is still another fantastic formula like if sephora has basically like all their stuff on sale i would consider getting those again but for now 
Wow, I'm really proud of myself. I just decluttered like that whole freaking basket. Good for me. Okay, this one's hard. These are my Too Faced and Tarte products. Too Faced Melted Liquid Lip. Hella old. This is probably like 10 years old right here. Declutter. We've got the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipsticks. Decluttering both of these. I do really like this one here. What shade was it? Freshly Baked. I like this shade too, Queen Bee. This is not my favorite formula though. It's very drying on my lips, but... Declutter, another one, hella old. Oh my God. <laughs> I could like cry, like how many, like, uh, how many I've bought and just barely used, Jesus. But let's talk about these Tarte Rainforest of the Sea lipsticks. These are fucking fire. One of my favorite lipstick formulas, but uh, these, I got these on sale such a good formula more of like a matte really great shade range where was my favorite one there was one that i used to wear all the time i think even the sticker fell off of it so i'm not even gonna be able to tell you what the name of it was i want to say it was like beach wave or beach bomb or i don't remember i think it was this one. Oh, but these are so good do they make these still because i feel like i need to get rid of these <laughs> And buy ones that I like. Oh, where's Salt Life? Salt Life was another really good one. Hold on, let me find it. Damn, can somebody tell me if these are still for sale? Because they should be. These are fucking fire. Salt Life, this one right here. So good. Oh, I feel like I need to keep one. Oh, but they're so old. What should I do, guys? I love them so much. I love the packaging. <laughs> oh, I'm going to put these to the side. I might end up decluttering them, but I need to go through all the shades before I make a decision because I don't want to get rid of something I'm going to regret. I feel like Salt Life is going to stay because I really like the looks of that shade. Oh, but that's such a good formula. If you've never tried those and they're still available, fantastic. So then we have the Sigma Disney Princess Cinderella like lip duo not my favorite. I'm going to declutter these. I hate to declutter it because it's Cinderella, but I just don't like the formulas. Or are these both? I think these might be both. No, this one here is a liquid lipstick. This one's a gloss. This gloss is more of like a shiny, like metallic, sparkly. I like a high shine, like I've been saying. So yeah, I'm going to declutter those. Oh, it makes me so sad because I love Disney everything. Another little bucket of randos. I just bought these NYX lip duos. This formula is tragic on me. I have to get rid of these. I'm like, <laughs> I love, like, especially the shades. The shades are so fire. But comparing them to, like, Chanel, no. These look so cracky. They emphasize, like, all of my lines. They killed it as far as color selection, but I just can't get down with that formula. Too Faced Honey Lip Gloss. I loved this so much, but they don't make it anymore, so I'm going to declutter that one. I actually just got this in my Beautylish Lucky Bag, the Viseart Lip Gloss in the shade, I think it's Cerise. I don't remember how I was pronouncing it. It looks like something I would never reach for, but I put this over the top of the lip that I was wearing, and it looked so fucking beautiful. So I'm going to hang on to this one because I was pleasantly surprised and I had, like, no idea that Viseart did, like, lip products. So we're going to hang on to that. These Tom Ford, what are these called? The Lip Contour Duos. I know that these are old AF, so I'm going to get rid of these as well. I've been hanging on to them, hoping that I would use them. These were, like, all gifted to me. But since I don't use them and they're all, like, dried up by now, I am going to declutter them. <laughs> oh, my God. My heart breaks right now. M Cosmetics. These are so good. These are the Lip Cushion Tinted Lip Luminizers. Like, easily, like, one of my favorite lip products. I think these are so good. So, I'm going to hang on to those. And then we've got some Charlotte Tilbury just chilling out here. So, we've got glosses, liquid lipsticks, I'm pretty sure. Um, another one of the, like, lip balms. What are these even called? If I could open it, that'd be great. 
I'm not sure what this is called, but it's the shade Pillow Talk. I want to say that this might have been the product that the Sephora employee I was talking to, she said these are kind of similar to the um, Makeup by Mario little, like, gloss thing, moisture gloss things. Those are way, like, way more emollient. This one's a little bit more dense, but I really like that that luminosity that that gives. So I'm going to keep all these because I haven't really used them that much. And I'm going to put the M Cosmetics right in there because I know I have one more. Then we've got some Fenty lip products. In my humble opinion, I think the best thing that Fenty does is lip products. So they've done incredible lip glosses, which these are hella old too, but I don't care. I'm going to keep them. The Stunna lip paints are also fantastic. What else do we got? Another lip gloss. I want to say I have even one more lip gloss. These I notice I always put them in my filming bag. I don't know why. Maybe it's just habit, but these always go with me when I'm filming. So I'm going to keep all those and I'm going to keep the Stunna lip paints. These are a little bit more drying, but I still really like them. So we're going to hang on to those. And then I've got some Chanel, some Lisa Eldridge. These Lawless lip glosses, whoever thinks that these are good, is a fucking liar. <laughs> I'm joking, but I'm not personally a fan. I'm going to declutter those, even though they're relatively new. And then the Rose Official, I think this is technically like her more like sheer formula from Lisa Eldridge. Again, I'm like, I kind of think that these are overhyped. Like they're nice, but they're not anything to like lose your shit about. Very nice packaging though. And then the Chanel, what are these called? The Rouge Allure Laque in the shade Exigence. I don't use this all the time, but I really like this formula. It almost feels like nothing on the lips. It's kind of like a sheer liquid lipstick. You definitely have to build it up, but it's Chanel. It's Chanel. I got to keep it. So we're going to hang on to that. Let's move these baskets over so I don't try showing them to you again, because that could be very much a thing that happens. <laughs> Then we've got this little container. I've got all of my buxom in here. Remember how amazing these lip glosses were back in the day? Wowza. We've got the um, buxom liquid lipsticks as well. I bought like all of these lip glosses when they were on sale for like half off. Yeah, that's why I have so many, but I really don't need all of these. <laughs> So my favorite out of all of them is White Russian, like 100%. And I really like Dolly as well. But since these are old AF, oh, I love this packaging though with the diamond on top. Let me smell them. Hold on. I mean, they still smell okay. If it smells okay, I'm more willing to hang on to it. <laughs> as long as I just like stir it up. Hot toddy. Yeah, these were so good. They still smell really good, too. Maybe I will hang on to these. I know I can declutter some of these liquid lipsticks. Let me look at... I'm going to declutter Dolly because we got some shit going on in there. We're going to get rid of that one. Let's take... Hmm. One of these white Russians. This one can stay because this one is newer. Bellini, I'm going to declutter. Hot Toddy, I'm going to declutter. What's this shade? Mai Tai, I'm going to declutter. So we're going to keep basically Gin Fizz and White Russian for now. That's at least the plan. And then for these Shine On, Full On Lip Creams or whatever the hell they're called, the one that I wear the most is Beg for Mauve. So I'm going to keep that one. And then, actually, I feel like Calm to Dolly I wear a lot. Hang on, let me swatch these two. You guys are going through my brain with me right now. All right, so this is, I think it's Come to Dolly. Yes, that's Come to Dolly. Maybe that's the one that I wear the most. Hold on, let me do the Beg for Mauve next to it. I think Beg for Mauve is just a little bit lighter. Oh, those are so nice, though. Did you guys ever try these? They're fucking amazing. So this is Lights Down. Oh, my God, I can still remember going in store and swatching all of these and making the decision to buy them. I'm going to get rid of this one because I really don't wear this one that much. I love the shade of it, but for it'd be for like fall. And I think I would like this better if it was a matte. So I'm going to get rid of lights down. I'm also going to get rid of this one. It's just like electric or no paradise found. 
fun fact, there's a strip club near us that's called Paradise Found, and that's what I think of every single time. Super pretty shade, but because it's not transfer proof, I know it will get everywhere. So I think I'm going to keep these two shades, Beg for Mob and Come to Dolly. So we basically got rid of half. That's not bad. And then... I'm gonna get rid of a lot of these. Basically, all these bullet lipsticks are so old. I've been hanging on to them for basically like sentimental reasons because these were some of the very first lipsticks I've ever bought, but they just, they take up too much room and I just, I don't ever reach for them. And they're old, like they're just, there's no reason for me to reach for these. So all of these, I'm gonna declutter. And then the shades that I do like, I will more most likely repurchase and then most of these I really don't even touch oh my god this is the shade buttercup it looks like sparkly but I don't remember it looking like that I feel like when it's sparkly like that is it supposed to be like that I don't know I'm gonna get rid of this one because I have not touched that one either all right let me go to some of these lip glosses. I basically need to like repurchase all of my Gerard Cosmetics because it's just like I never buy it because I knew that I had it. But now that I don't have it, maybe I'll be more likely to get it again because I basically just bought a bunch of shit because it was on sale. And then because everything gets just overwhelmed in my collection, they just kind of sat there. So they've got all these like liquid lipsticks, which I don't really reach for these either. I do want to keep this shade Gravity because that's so different for my collection. And then I think it's Ecstasy. Nope, that's Cher. I'm going to keep Cher because I like that shade. You got Skinny Dip. These are the Hydra Mats if you're wondering what formulas these are. The Mudslide 90210. I've got the Gloss. I think I'm just going to keep those two for now because I think that those shades are really different. I'm going to declutter those. I didn't love this formula. This was the Supreme Lip Cream, I think. Wildberry Tart is the shade. I'm going to declutter that. And then we have the Midas Cosmetics Smoky Glow Lip Collection. I'm going to declutter this as well because I just, I don't use it. And I don't think Midas Cosmetics is going to be around anymore either. And then we have the Joa Lipsticks. I forget where the hell, I, I think I got these in PR like forever ago. And I held on to them because they were very nice. But we're going to get rid of them because I never reach for them. And then we have some Anastasia glosses, which are super beautiful. Just never reach for them. So I'm going to declutter those. And they're old as fuck. Then we have Essence Lipstick in the shade 02 Porcelain, I think this is called. I mean, it's fine, but nothing super original. And then another Essence Lipstick in the shade 02. This is the Matte 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 Formula. Cute shade, but also old as fuck. Guys, I did a really good job there. Did you see that? Damn. Good for me. <laughs> and then another one that's chuck full. This is a bunch of like miscellaneous. The BK Beauty lipsticks. I'm not getting rid of any of, the, any of these because they're some of my favorites in my collection as well. So we're going to stick those right over there. I actually wore this today and I wasn't that mad at it. The, the NYX Cosmetics This Is Milky Lip Gloss. I'll keep testing this. It's not my favorite gloss of all time, but it's fine. And then I've got the Wayne Goss Lipsticks in the shade Orchid and Carnation. I got these shades because they were like the only ones available at the time. This shade I really like. I think this is Orchid. I would love that in the fall. So I'm going to hang on to that one. And then let's see what Carnation looks like. Because I haven't reached for these in a minute. That's cute. I'm going to hang on to that one as well. I need to get more use out of my Wayne Goss. Then we've got a whole bunch of Ofra. I'm pretty sure that's what everything else is in here. So all of these liquid lips that are in the boxes, I'm going to hang on to them because they were actually sent to me relatively recently. But I need to get underneath them because I need to declutter some of these other ones in here. So like these mini ones, I'm going to declutter these, this purple, these lasted through my last declutter and I just have not reached for them. I don't care how unique I think that they are. I, I don't need them. <laughs> Let me grab, this was from like the Manny, it was like Manny times Ofra collection. We're going to get rid of that. Just some more when they had their last packaging, I think this is one for the Manny collection. More of these like minis. 
Oh my god. Why do I have so many fucking lip products? More that are just older. Don't need them. We've got the glosses. Some of these are from Samantha's collab, so I'm going to hang on to those. We'll stick those right on top. Basically, everything in the newer packaging I'm going to hang on to because we've got Jen's collab in here. We've got some that were sent to me, like I said. And then, did I say Samantha's collab was in here as well? Jen's and Samantha's? I'm pretty sure I did. I really like this formula, okay? Don't make me explain myself. <laughs> And then I'll take them out of my boxes probably when I do my organization video. So I'm going to have pretty much a basket full of Ofra lip products. Boom. Not too shabby. We got that relatively quickly. Then we've got another basket. <laughs> no, we've already done this one. But I forgot to show you guys two glosses in here. This is what caught my attention. So we've got the NARS Orgasm X Gloss. I'm keeping this because... I love the Orgasm Mask line. I think it's so pretty. It's not shiny and reflective. It's just a cute shade, especially when I wear the Orgasm X blush. I really do like this. And then we have the Chanel gloss. This was a gift from a subscriber. This is the Rouge Coco gloss in the shade 804. Love this one. So I'm going to hang on to that. Then, oh my lord, everybody. I told you we were going to be here for a while. <laughs> this is like a bunch of miscellaneous shit. So I've got another one of those M Cosmetics lip cushions. Where did I put the other one? Because I was going to put this deliberately with that and I can't find them. I'll put it with my Fenty. Then we've got the Dose of Color Stone. This is their new packaging. So this is the only one that I feel like I need from the Dose of Colors line. It's so, so good. So I'm going to hang on to that one. Then these were just recently sent to me. These are from Suku. The Suku basically like liquid lipsticks. These are really nice. I really do like this formula. Then we've got the Vive Lip Do, which I love this so much. So I'm hanging on to that. More M Cosmetics, the clear gloss. This is one of the shiniest clear glosses I think I have ever come across. Ah, oh, so good. So juicy and wet. We love that for me. NARS lip gloss. NARS glosses have such a special place in my heart simply because they were also one of my first high-end purchases. So this is the shade, what is it? La Chamade. I think I ordered the wrong shade, but I just kept it because I'm like, I don't care. It's so pretty. So this one I think I'll really enjoy in the springtime. And then I have yet to use this, I don't think. The Huda Beauty, the Silk Balm Rose Quartz. This came out with the um, Rose Quartz palette, right? So I'm going to hang on to that. Then we have Lisa Eldridge Charm, Charm Lip Gloss. I bought this with my previous order, one of the most recent ones. I'm going to hang on to this. I also have the shade, what was it, Myth. This was the one I was talking about. This was gifted to me. This one I purchased. So I think that they're nice, but... Slightly overhyped, in my opinion. <laughs> Packaging's really cute. And then... <laughs> Everybody, what's this look like? <laughs> this is one of the Dior from the um, holiday collections. The embossing on this is so pretty. I fucking love Dior. I don't care what anybody says. Ah, oh, so pretty. I think I've used this, like, one time. But tell me what people would think if you pulled this out of your purse. <laughs> I love it. Tracy said, I saw a swatch shade. I want to know what the color is. <laughs> I think once I do like my organization, I'll pretty much do, I don't know, maybe I'll do like a separate video, like swatching my entire lip collection or something like that. <laughs> so I don't know what's up. All right, let's go to the KVD. I forget what the exact name of these were, but this formula was caca. This was one of those formulas that you could actually feel like the texture on your lips. I really do like the packaging, but that was one I definitely should have like sent back because it was not it for me. And then we have some Chanello. We have the Lip Tenu Duos, which these are amazing. These are what supposedly those NYX lip duos are supposed to dupe. No, these are so much better than the NYX, like hands down. So, so good. I mean, worth every penny in my humble opinion. And then it looks like I have another 
lipstick. Did I even know this was in here? Because it's still in the packaging. <laughs> Have I even used this yet? Okay, so this is the Myth lipstick. So I basically got the lip liner, the lipstick, so I had it with the gloss. So this, like her mattes, they don't glide on to me the most even. I love, like, her matte liquid lips, or matte lipsticks look like suede. I love how it looks around the side. It looks so just bougie and elegant. Packaging's really nice. But when I apply this on my lips, I don't know if I really love it that much. I think maybe I had too high of expectations. Maybe. I don't know. So then we have, oh my god, one of my favorites. I need to declutter this, though, and get a new one. The L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Candyman. I have to swatch this because this shade, nothing compares to that shade right there. It's got the perfect amount of coolness. It smells like chocolate. It's from the Lace Chocolates line. This is everything. I hope that they still make this because I am going to declutter it because it I could like physically tell when I wear it like the formula is not the same. Candyman is that bitch. Bite Beauty, these were, I want to say the liquefied, like a mouge bouche liquefied lipsticks. This actually feels like you took a lipstick and melted it. Just like with the formula that it has, these were fucking bomb. I love these. I was so, I was so surprised that they discontinued these. It still smells okay, so I'm going to keep this one. This is the shade Hickama. And it's so, so good oh my god i love how just like shiny it is but it actually feels like a lipstick it's so so nice so we're gonna save that we've got these nars air matte liquid lipsticks i think these are called these are amazing as well i have the shade pinup and thrust these are relatively new so i'm gonna hang on to those as well patrick ta lip glosses are amazing i wasn't the biggest fan initially but then i actually used it <laughs> and i layered it and i was like oh my god I get the hype now. These, in my opinion, are way better than his new ones. I'm actually not a big fan of the new ones at all. These, though, highly recommend. These are the... Does it say the name? It just says she's an influencer. That's the name of this one. Super pretty. Gonna hang on to that one. And then I have... What is this? I want to say this is... Um, House of Siage, the diamond powder lipstick in the shade Playful Red. I think this was from the mickey collection so pretty house of siage has fantastic lip formulas i love them so i have a few more of those i'm just gonna keep them just right there because they're basically in refillable packaging because i do have the um like the mini bow that they sent me which i fucking love makeup geek the creamsicle delight what are these called? Healing Lip Gloss, I think these are called. I don't really reach for these that often. They're teeny tiny. Very ideal for, um, like, to have in your, like, purse or something. I don't really like the applicator, though. Like, it's super tiny. It's, it's nice, but I don't, like, live, breathe, and die for it. I think I'm going to get rid of this one because I've had these for actually quite a while as well. And then I think one of the prettiest lip glosses I've ever seen is from House of, or no, House Laboratories. I almost said House of Siage. <laughs> Look at this gloss. So it's going to be more shine. I feel like this is what the Opulus glosses wish that they were. Because I just find this so much prettier than the Opulus. Look how shiny it is. Like, it's so sparkly. Mmm. I love that so much. And I, I love that it looks like the Lip Dew from Vive. It's like same type of packaging. So I'm going to hang on to that one. And then we have the Merit. I think this is the Merit Lip Gloss. Tinted Lip Oil in the shade Taupe. This was another one I featured relatively recent in, I think it was like trying new makeup from Merit Beauty or something like that. It's like a barely there sort of a look for your lips, but it's very comfortable on the lips. It's nice tinted lip oil. I like it. So I'm going to keep it. House of Siege can go over there. These like elf lip products. I'm just going to declutter those. I never touch those. And then the Wicked Widow Beauty. These are two of their lip glosses. I really don't like their lip gloss formula to be honest. So I'm going to get rid of these ones. These are still pretty new. I mean the shades are super unique. 
but I don't see myself reaching for them because I just really don't like the formulas and I can't even tell like which shades are which because there's no indication on what the shade names are. And then we have M Cosmetics. This is the basically like their liquid lipstick in the shade Clementine, which this in the fall is going to be so pretty. They have a really nice like moussey formula super comfortable m cosmetics is like at the top of my list for makeup brands right now then we have the dior what the hell is this called the rouge dior for forever liquid lip i think this is called in the shade 943 i got so many compliments on this lipstick or liquid lipstick i should say but this is not one that i would buy again i wouldn't buy this again because it applies very strange like it's it's not quite patchy but it's not even either so I, I mean technically yes you could say it's patchy there's just something about it I just don't love how it wears on my lips either so this one I'm gonna keep it because it's Dior but I would not buy it again and that breaks my heart because I fucking love Dior and then the Power Kiss liquid lip color from MAC Cosmetics I forget where I, I actually think I might have bought this when MAC first came to Ulta. Very similar to like Kaleidos. Oh my god, I just realized I didn't pull out any of my Kaleidos liquid lipsticks. Shit. Those are in another section. I'm going to keep on my Kaleidos though. This one though, I don't like how it applies, but like I said, it has a very similar texture formula to the Kaleidos. It's fine, but I'm going to declutter it. Then we have Odin's Eye. Did you all know that Odin's Eye had lipsticks? I'm going to hang on to these because I have them, but because everything has been on top of them, I've never used them. And so we're going to keep those. And then same thing with these DD Signature lipsticks. They were sent to me and I want to give them a shot before I just go ahead and declutter them. So we're going to save all of this stuff. Let me just kind of consolidate so I don't got stuff all over my, uh, you know. <laughs> And then we'll get into organization in another video. So there's that. What else did I miss? I know that I had... Oh, yeah. We've got more baskets. Another basket. I think I'm going to declutter all of these as well. I kept these Makeup Geek Showstopper lip creams because I felt that some of these shades were very unique for my collection, like this hot pink. But since I have the Unearthly Cosmetics Satin Liquid Lips... Those have basically taken the place in my collection for, like, most unique colors. So, all of these Showstopper lip creams, I bought all these, and I'm going to declutter them. I loved having them. You guys all know that I love my Makeup Geek, but since they are old AF, <laughs> I'm going to declutter those. And then I also have the whole collection of lip locks from Clarity Cosmetics, which these are another formula that is hella old. These, I believe, were all sent to me. I feel like I did a lip swatch, not, maybe not on TikTok. I swatched these on Instagram, I think, a super long time ago. But I never use them. It's not my favorite formula. So we're going to declutter those. I'm going to wipe off these swatches because I feel like some swatches are going to be coming in just a brief moment. I hope y'all are enjoying yourselves, though. You should give this video a thumbs up if you are. <laughs> then we have MAC Cosmetics. So... I've kept previous MAC collections because I used to love MAC lipsticks. So I recently picked these up with the... Remember that collection? Tempting Fate? I'll keep these for now because I know that I do really enjoy MAC lipsticks, but I do foresee myself decluttering these eventually, but... I don't want to declutter things just for the sake of decluttering. I also picked this up from, like, the Cherry... It was, like the cherry blossom collection or something this is very pretty it's almost like a tinted lip balm but as far as basically everything else in here except except the mariah carey collection i think might go but let's see actually that's a lie i already know because there's one in here that i already know i'm not going to declutter which one is it i want to say it's this one this lipstick right here this is Samantha Ravindahl's lipstick with MAC Cosmetics. I'm definitely not getting rid of this one. I really enjoy that one. And then we've got Magic Spell, which this one I remember enjoying. I think I used this a lot when I did like freelancing and stuff, but I'm going to declutter that. We've got, I want to say this is Velvet Teddy. Yes, fantastic shade, but old AF. 
We're going to declutter that one. Then we have Whirl. Y'all remember Whirl, right? <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I'm decluttering these right now. Then these. Oh my god, I was so pissed. You guys ready for this? Jocelyn got into these. This I used to love for like springtime, but again, they're old. They don't perform the same, but this shade, it was like brand new and Jocelyn got into it. I was so fucking mad, like so pissed. She destroyed so much of my makeup that day, but I am going to declutter these even though I love the packaging. I just, I can't, I can't keep hanging on to stuff just to hang on to it. You know what I'm saying? So then we have these. I forget which collection these were from. I just, I never use them. So there's just no point in me having them. And then we had the holiday collection from, I want to say this was like 2018 or 2019. What shades are these? Oh my God. These were so pretty though. Oh my God. Mac used to do holiday so fucking well. So this was like the frost formula. I'm like, I'm keeping that. That is fucking, like, that even as a highlighter, so pretty. That was, what shade was that? I can barely even read that. Warm Ice. This next one is Shimmer and Spice. I'm having a really difficult time reading these. This one is almost like a duochrome in a lipstick, which I just think is so different. Right? Isn't that cute? I'm keeping this. These just make me happy. That's why I'm keeping them. <laughs> And then Holiday Crush. This, I think, was their last, like, decent holiday collection, though. But look how pretty those are, right? Oh, so pretty. Okay, we're going to keep those because I enjoy those. And then we have Mac Mariah Carey. I'm not going to swatch all those, but I just, I cannot. This was the best collection that Mac has ever done. Like, the packaging on this was chef's kiss. Can they get back to this level, please and thank you so much? I would love that. So I'm also going to get rid of this because this is another one that um, Jocelyn got her fingers into. This was the collection of those, like these, these, this, you know, same collection. It's basically just a pot lip gloss, which why I bought this, I have no idea. But it had like a beautiful iridescence to it. It looks like nothing, but yeah, I'm going to get rid of it. <laughs> it's just taking up space. <laughs> All right, so this is everything from Mac that I'm going to keep. Good job, Brittany. I'm proud of you. And then I think we've got two more baskets to go. One, two, and I think this is it, unless I find something else. So let's go to ColourPop Nightmare Before Christmas. I bought this not even giving a shit, like, if I even like the shade. But... I actually really like this one, and I love the fact that Oogie Boogie's on there. So we're going to keep that one. Then we've got these e.l.f. What were these called? I still am, like, mind blown at how the fuck I ended up on e.l.f.'s PR list. <laughs> so this is the basic beige, or no, they're, I think they're just, like, lip glosses or something. I've only used one of these, I think. It's, like, a lip gloss meets a liquid lipstick it's very different for me i don't like the way that these smell though like they smell like your typical like cheap ass lip products i don't know like there's something about a lip product i want it to smell good are you guys the same way i wish that it smelled better because i could see myself really liking these i'm gonna hang on to them for now because i want to test them a little bit more before i declutter them and they're like brand new but then we have oh my god I forgot about these. The Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suits. These were fire. This one's not even opened. I used the shit out of this one. Oh my god, do I have any more of these in here? No, I think I only kept this shade because it wasn't open. But the shade Rebel Rose. But the fact that it's still sealed and I haven't touched it should tell me everything that I need to know about it. Like, I clearly don't need it. Galactic, the Matte Lip Paint. Can't remember the last time I used this, so I'm going to declutter that. Then we have the Palladio Casey Holmes. I remember I had all three of these. I love Casey Holmes, but this formula just was not it for me. A little bit too drying for my liking. Casey, I love you, girl, but I'm going to declutter that. Then we have these Femme Couture. These are from Sally Beauty. These Super Juicy Lip Glosses. These are so juicy, except for the fact that they're in a squeezy tube. I love everything about these. But Hella Old... But watch, 
watch how shiny this is. Like, shiny with, like, the perfect amount of glitter. So juicy, but so old. So I'm going to declutter both of these as well. <laughs> oh my god, so many of these things are things that I should have decluttered, like, so long ago. Collab Makeup Matte Liquid Lipstick. Going to declutter this. The NYX Lingerie. Can't even remember the last time or if I ever even used that one. We've got the, I think this is Flower Beauty, the Mix and Matte Lip Duo. So it's basically like a lipstick on one side and a gloss on the other. I'm going to declutter that. Another Essence Lipstick. Oh my god. I bet you like half of this shit is not even made anymore. Isn't this crazy? <laughs> and then the Tarte. I can't even remember what these were even called either. These were bomb. Do you guys remember these? Oh my god. So good. Like this I want to keep because the formula is phenomenal, but I know it's old as fuck. <laughs> oh my god. This is like high key depressing a little bit. Like I have a whole box of stuff of just stuff I'm gonna either throw away or donate. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm looking around for one last look over to make sure that I got all of my lip products. But damn, that was so much, wasn't it? But look at this. This whole box is filled. I can't even fit it under the camera. It's all filled to the top. Guys, that was a good little declutter. I mean, like I said... A lot of this stuff should have been decluttered long before now. I did not come here to be judged, okay? We're not done. <laughs> I'm not decluttering any of these, but just so we know, we've got NARS Audacious lipsticks. These are the best lipsticks of all time. This is the little refer, um, I forget which letter it is, but the little refer organizer. So we've got Nars Audacious, two Hermes, and then two Dior up here. This is like top tier for lip formulas, in my humble opinion. So I know we had a lot. No, we're still not done. <laughs> oh my God, this is depressing. Okay, now we have Alien Cosmetics, which is now known as Unearthly Cosmetics. I keep telling Amanda she needs to bring more of these because like I love I love the satin lip formulas but the mattes are even better okay <laughs> simply because they last longer so we've got glosses in here I think there's one two I think these are the three glosses I'm keeping all these the gloss formula is a little bit different for me because it's not super shiny but there's something about the formula that I do really like. Look at that purple. Oh, so good. This one like transforms so different on your lips too. But these, these liquid lipsticks. Amanda, everybody like, let's write a letter to Amanda at Unearthly Cosmetics and tell her we want like a full blown range of the matte liquid lipsticks. If you've tried these, let the live chat know. Okay, phenomenal, especially the shades Eerie and Autumn. I can't even tell you how many times I've worn those damn things, but this shade is so different and I freaking love it. Brew, so pretty. We need like a black in this formula. Oh my God, I love it. Love it so much. Highly recommend Unearthly Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lips are hot fire. Okay, out of everything that I showed you guys today, are y'all judging me for one? For two, what is your favorite that you guys saw? If you guys want me to link anything for you, just let me know in the comments down below. But other than that, I'm pretty sure that's everything you saw besides the Kaleidos, which I am expecting another batch of the Kaleidos one. So maybe I'll do like a separate swatch video or something with those. But other than that, I'm pretty sure I got everything... No, I'm already looking around my room and I still see other things that I miss. But it's like showcase pieces, so I don't really use it anyways. But let me know what you guys thought, your favorites, all that sort of stuff. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up or thumbs it down. That's cool too. And if there's anything else that I need to bring into my collection, let your girl know. Other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard. 
Why do I keep saying that wrong? Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> 8.30 p.m. for new makeup releases. And I will see you guys there. Okay, bye.